Howdy from Arlington, in Texas, y'all. Hope this video finds you well. It is Monday, so that is mail day. Mail call Monday, as I like to say. Haven't done one of these in a few weeks. So this will be the non-IndyCar racing portion. Um, I probably should uh, put the IndyCar stuff in here to uh, subject you all to that, too, so that I actually somebody sees some of that stuff, because I don't figure most of you are going to watch the Wednesday episodes, but it is what it is. Um, so in front of you, you see Mondays, 8 p.m. Eastern on the 3B Collection channel. I am, will do my live stream with Herman. We've been doing that for about a month and a half now. I want to say this is like the sixth week. So if you see this before then, I hope you can check it out. If you see this after that, I hope you will go back and watch and check us out in the future. Um, you know, know how it is, live streams, you know. They're not good for some people at certain times, but <clears throat> there doesn't seem to be as much activities on Monday, so hopefully you can check it out and probably listen to me rant about something. I feel like I rant about something every week, whether it's grading or I don't know. There's always something. So anyway, let's get going here. Speaking of 3B Collection, I got into his break a few weeks ago of some, he did two different breaks of a Heritage Hobby Box. It was you buy one team, get two randoms. So I took the Angels. Um, I've never really talked about this because it, it's really a passive thing, but I was kind of working on a, uh, a Mike Trout run from Heritage. I like Heritage. I don't have a real player. I don't have a team. So if you're going to do that and it's somebody random, why not pick the guy that everyone thinks is the best player in the game? So I took the Angels. I could have bought the I could have bought the two cards. I needed cheaper than I got in. I'm I'm fully aware of that. But you know, as we talk about support your LCS, well, sometimes uh, you support your friends and what they're doing as long as it's not too out there. And I figured, what the hell? At least maybe this is the way I've got a chance at an auto. Although it seems like all the good Heritage Red autos are coming out of retail this year. So anyway, did get what I was going for. I got the Mike Trout base heritage, him up there. I did get the in action. So I got the two that I, you know, really needed, but I want to get, you know, any of the base or the low level parallels or parallels, low level inserts. I'm not looking for the rare parallels, stuff like that. So I did get a couple of these as well to fill in. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm going for. I already have the 2011 miners. I have the 2012 so I have you know a good portion of the more expensive ones although he does have some of those uh he's been short friends so I definitely want to get last year's is kind of the next one I want to work on because the 71 design I just love that so those were a couple of the short prints I got um obviously Otani's hot I don't think that's a short print or anything yeah card 245 some different teams, Adele, Adele, and then I had the Tigers in one, so that's what I got. He also threw in there for me. He has recently gotten into hockey a little bit because, well, hockey is the one thing you can find. Now, he's in Georgia, so it's not extremely easy to find, but he uh, opened a box of uh, Blaster Parkhurst, uh, as you've seen on my channel if you've been watching for a while. My wife is a Stars fan, which means I am a Stars fan. So he sent these uh, Parker's cards over for her binder. He did not get any Blackhawks in his entire blaster. So, thanks, Herm. I'll see you here in a few. I'll talk to you here hmm, probably when I get done recording this video. So this was a care package I did not know was coming. This was from my friend Tim who does not have a YouTube page. I know he watches YouTube, uh, and he, but he does have a podcast, which is Mountain State Cardboard. Mountain State Cardboard. And you can find him on Instagram and Twitter at WV Cardboard. Um, what I love about his, just listening to his show. Now, he's, he's definitely a big baseball guy, which I am not. But outside of that, we have very similar thought processes, philosophies, whatever you want to say on the hobby and how we collect. 
So that's one reason that he and I get along so well. We haven't chatted as much recently. I haven't been on Instagram as much. Um, just haven't been spending as much hobby time in general. Um, so I haven't talked to him as much lately, but he did send me this awesome little care package. Mark Bulger from the West Virginia University. David Still, David Sills from the West Virginia University. You'll detect a trend here. Greer. This is awesome. I did not have this. These Army All-American game cards are kind of cool if they, uh, you know, if they're guys that play at your school. Obviously, he played at Florida before he came to West Virginia, but I did not have any of those. Definitely, he threw some stars and some Blackhawks from the 93-94 Leaf. I love that design. The good old days when we didn't have exclusive, uh, what is it, exclusive whatever, and you could see the same design across all sports because I remember this in baseball as well. Don't really remember if they did football and basketball, but you know I think a lot of the baseball fans that were collected back then will remember that design. Another Mark, Mark Bolger rookie, Bolger, and Bolger. So thanks, Tim. That is awesome. I like the stickers too. I got to figure out. Uh, you sent me, I think, three or four of them. Got to figure out what to do with those. Um, <laughs> My stepson uh, loves stickers all over his laptop. It's not really me, but hey, maybe I'll do that. I don't know. So let's get this put away. So that was awesome of him. Like I said, I did not know that care package was coming. Thank you again, Tim. So I got another care package from my friend Tony, who has sent me plenty of care packages, it seems. I have some stuff for him. I definitely need to get that out soon, but I have been horrible about getting stuff out. Tony, if you don't know him, he is Tony's Hobby Vault on here and on the Twitter, and I believe that's his handle on the the uh, Instagram as well. So, Charles Barkley, Silver Prism. Then just some basics, Rangers, opening day. Obviously, I'm in the area, so... I at least try to keep tabs on what the teams are doing, so I appreciate that. Some Cowboys, some Zeeks, Leighton Vander Esch, and then a huddle up with, I guess, Dak. What would that be? Back and center? <laughs> Thanks, Tony. I appreciate it. And I promise I do have something for you. And let's just say it's a uh, it's an NBA player that you collect. That you probably will have all of them, but they certainly belong with you. Top's living set, still pretty much been garbage. Um, but since the last time I showed, and I don't know, maybe I did show these ones off. The Jay and Jimmy Uso. I don't remember what week they were. Let's see, we got 13 and 14, so I guess that would have been week 7. I, this is the first one. I have no idea who in the hell Mia Yim is. And I barely know who Keith Lee is. I mean, I get it that I don't watch, but you'd still think it'd be people I'd know. Sami Zayn and Edge. This was the first car, the first guy released that I really contemplated picking up multiple cards from because Edge is one of my all-time favorites. But that just that artwork is just the artwork on these is terrible. I I, I don't like it at all. I get it. It's a style, and art is subjective. And I'm, you know, not trying to personally berate the artist that does these, but I, I just these things are things are hot garbage. This one here, random. It's on Sport Lots. Just ran across it and was like, oh, that would be a cool thing to go because not only is it a card, but it's just kind of United States sports history. Bella Caroli, who was the longtime. Uh, U.S. Women's Gymnastics Head Coach. So I just thought that was super cool. Got that pretty cheap. Just something random. Uh, another Sport Lots Auctions pickup. I just uh, numbered out of 50 Ryan Blaney. I got it at such a price. It's probably just going to go to JT to sell it consignment because I do think it should go for more than I got it for. Uh, some sport lots pickups. So I briefly mentioned the Mike Trout project. So I picked up a couple of these real cheap. 
and then to go along with them shipping whether you get shipped two or you ship four it was the same shipping price so i just picked up some jed jerichos from my personal collection i thought this was a heritage i thought it's what i got i got tops boo more I, I need to get more of the jerko heritage i want to be able to fill up a complete page with each of those each of the designs um but anyway yeah i picked up a couple of these for the product for the run i just figured i'd buy two at the cheap price i think i paid like 50 cents for those maybe 75 cents because you know probably one may not be mint uh this one he's down there i went ahead and picked up four copies of this from the same seller because he he had four and i didn't see anything else i wanted so that was that same thing here about four cards Two, I think two of these checklists and then two of the Jed Jerkos from last year who is done playing baseball officially, but he has been named the head, co the head coach, the manager of my hometown minor league team, the West Virginia Black Bears. So that is hella cool. And then the last thing I got here is a purchase from JT. It's Triple Crown. Link below. Um... You know, I can sign cards through him, but I also shop his store. And as I mentioned, my trout project, he had this one, which is a short was a sh one of the short prints. So this was card number 500 of the year. I don't even know what year it is. It's like 2013, 2015, 66 design. So pick that up for my run. Maybe here shortly, I'll show that run off. Awesome. And then just. I love the, I, I do like the cards with the old designs, and this isn't a current player, but he was my other favorite player after Dale Murphy, so I just picked up some random cards in these old designs from Will Clark. Eventually, when I'm getting organized, I'm hoping to be a lot more organized by the end of the year as I downsize and my collection, I hope to be, hope to then be able to spend more time getting organized and uh, you know maybe a nice binder I need to do a Will Clark binder and I want to do you know all the different 85 designs and all of that so that's what I got like I said if you see this before 8 p.m. Eastern tonight hopefully you can hop in the live chat um, go subscribe to Herman's channel he doesn't post a lot of videos other than our weekly we do our weekly stream he does a monthly roundtable stream um and then every once in a while he does you know a few box breaks here and there but he's not gonna if you subscribe to him it's not gonna blow up your feed or anything like that but if you went in there and uh maybe got notifications join us live on mondays and then we do one saturday a month with a handful of other guys join in the chat have some fun but that is all i got for now and until later Happy collecting, y'all.